Welcome back to another episode of the Goof Pace Podcast. This is episode 20. My name is Nick. My name is Travis. And my name is $20 Bill. Jesus Christ. That's Raymond. You know who I am. Anyway. I hope so. Hey, we have no idea. We had a guest on last week because you decided to not show up. Yeah. Hey, I had to do some. He, his, I had to go on a family business trip. He had to poop really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I had, I a, ba- poop I had here. a bathroom emergency. <laughs> <laughs> he filled up his toilet yeah. and then his own. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, it's episode 20, guys. We made it to 20. That's a pretty big landmark. We haven't been yeah, late 20 once. Big, 20 big landmasters from Star Fox. I've never played that game. Never played Star Fox? Nope. Pretty fun. Yeah, Star Fox Adventures is a good game. Ooh, finally someone else. What? You don't have enough scarab. <laughs> <laughs> Put <Yeah>. that down. <laughs> I have no idea what this is about. Oh, so you go to buy something in the shop, and then if you don't have enough money, just like the shopkeeper just yells at you, and he goes, "Put that back." Put it back. You don't Put have enough down. <laughs> Raymond, Nick didn't mute his Discord. That's not gonna show. Don't worry about it. That's but fine. It distracts me. It distracts you. Does it send you out of the mindset? It does. Of it, the it, podcast it sends mindset? them to Mind Freak. <laughs> did you put a timer on, Travis? I did. Good, Ooh. Travis. All right, so what were we going to talk about first? How we're, This is our third location in three yeah. episodes. Yeah. Goof, pa- we've goof been, pace is we've on the road. We've been paced on the go. <laughs> Not purposely. So uh, because we're, we're moved out, and well, the f- three weeks ago we were in the apartments. Wait, still. check this out. I can make it a clickbait title if I say this. Goof. Goof Pace is homeless. I was thinking just that when I was in the restroom. <laughs> Goof Pace is now homeless, guys. We're not homeless. But uh, three weeks ago, we were in the apartment. And then last week with uh, Jason, we were in uh, my parents' RV. motor home. Yeah. Now, we're, now in we're in my parents' motor, motor, motor home. So, hooray. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's cozy in here. I really like this one. This is a lot yeah. better than ours. Honestly, the set. We could just stay the here. The podcast might be recorded in here for a little bit. For a while, yeah. 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 I'd be down for that. Because as of now, the setup we have right now works, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and it's not like echoey or terrible either. It's yeah, like, it's actually not. It's pretty well soundproof. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah. good. So uh, all so that, all those um, Briggs and Stratton, the things, stuff ooh, the things we do to record a podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right. Um, uh, but anyways, how, how, how's your guys' week been? How's your guys' day? How's, um, how are you doing? So let's see. I woke up today. Uh-huh. Woke up kind of late because me and Travis worked out last night. Uh-huh. Took a fat shower. Nice. Uh-huh. Played Minecraft with my girlfriend. Nice. You killed her. I spawned pet chickens in her house, and I killed her on accident. <laughs> nice. I didn't think she was going to die. She was like, I was low on health. I didn't know. She hit me first. Well, then anyway, so I woke up late. Uh, what I made? I, I forget what I did, but I, ended, I basically got like an RC part I've been needing because I've been troubleshooting trying to fix things. Let's just say I've taken my truck apart like 40 times trying to figure out the problem, and I finally solved it, drove it today, and I feel accomplished. What was and the problem? You have no idea what I'm talking about if I say it, but I had to replace the front differential casing called the bulkhead. Wow. And that's now wow. aluminum. What, what was and it? And I had to give them a grease, and what I had to it? rebuild the differential. Was it the piece like right under the front axle that you were working on? The one that like... The plastic thing outside? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. yeah. an aluminum version what of is that it, now. What does it do? Differential. So there's a gear, the gears inside, so it spins the wheels. Okay. It connects to that. It connects to the drive shaft. Was it just that's like... in the center transmission. <laughs> oh, so it turns this into this. It, it makes a four wheel drive. You that's why there's shaft. a differential in the middle. Anyway, <laughs> so I wasn't working. Correctly, I hope I didn't right? I peak that he mic did. like crazy. <laughs> he did peak the mic. We we spent about 15 minutes trying to not peak the mics, yelling. And we also spent three hours trying to make <laughs> your computer work. <laughs> but five minutes in, you scream and peak the mic yep. in- instantly. All right. So how was your day, Nick? Um, I edited about. Like 150 to 200 photos, and that's cute. Thanks, baby. Yeah, in a day, because I was just like, you know what, I got, I got nothing to do this week weekend. I'm not going to, I'm not going to back to LA. Yeah, for another like week or two. So, yeah. whoa. Did you end up talking about how we did um, some filming in photography last week? We did touch lightly on it. I, I told did him you about tell him the Ganja quote? Man. Okay, that's all yeah. that mattered. That's all I wanted to know if you did. And yeah. then the other guard who was also like, you're from China, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, no. He could not get over that. I'm racist, Chinese. right? <laughs> every just time, he, every racism. time he saw Nick, China, right? China. My my friend, because oh, we did you tell him about the we went to the donut no, shop? No, I don't think we we saw. I, I said gotta bring that up real quick. Yeah. So basically, we went we went to get boba, and while we were at the boba place, the owners of the shop were like Asian. And then we came back, and apparently the guy knew the people. He doesn't, probably. He probably doesn't, but he's probably, like, passed it and saw that they're Asian. They're like, oh, yeah, my brother knows knows the owners of that no, shop first over there. Went, no, first he said, they, I saw your parents next door. <laughs> Remember he said wow, that? Wow, yeah, that's like, hey, so are racist. Those, are those guys over there your parents? I'm just like, no. And they're like, but they're Asian. And I'm like. 
That's so racist. Well, let's just say this guy was a mess, and he was just creepy to all the girls there too. Ah, yeah. he was, yeah, he was I, I mentioned, oh, I mentioned that they were like representatives for like the dispensaries, yeah. and then um, he was just like putting his arm over them and being like, "This is my future wife. Why don't you take a picture of us?" I'm just like, uh, no. yeah, you could tell they're just like, uh, yeah, all all the people were just like, please do else? not. Did you only edit photos all day? Yeah. I was I was just basically on that for like a good four or five hours. Four, four hours. So what do you do? Four to five times a day. Uh, well, Slavis. today I've just been Slavis. continuing my binge of K-On because I'm rewatching that show because I got my box set, which is a video that'll be coming out mm-hmm. pretty Halfway soon here. <laughs> good. And uh, so I've been binging that for like three fucking days or something like that. But yesterday was not fun. I call it the bad luck. What was yesterday? Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. He dropped. He dropped a weight on himself. It was not. And died. It was he went not on the fun. needle drop. <laughs> Can you stop recording that over there? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, we're recording some B-roll in the background. Hopefully, you guys will see that somewhere. Follow us on our Twitter and Instagram to see the B-roll. Yeah. So, anyways, getting to my uh, badday.com. Wait, hold on. Let me sit down. It might be loud. Squish, squash. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, um, what happened was, I woke up for work. And I worked at 7 in the morning, and but I woke up at 5.30. I went on a little jog, and then I came home. I took a shower, and then I was going to eat something, but I ran out of time. And it was like 6.32 when I left, and I started going to work. And the thing about it is that from where my parents' house is, there's only one bridge to get over to where my work is for like a good fucking amount of miles. It's like in the middle of two yeah. freeways. If you don't make it, it's like a 10-mile detour. It's ridiculously. Like, like if you miss the exit? No, if you like. No, it's a side. It's like a just local road. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a big road and it's a big bridge. But if that bridge is out of commission, yeah. you're fucked. Very much. far it's to very go around far it. Because there's like no other route. Really? So, yeah. Sounds like a mistake. Wait, do you guys say route or route? Route. I say route. I say yeah. both. So I don't know. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. Route but anyways, in, so uh, um, British. Anyway. British. I spelled the, tire the with a Y. The bridge was closed, and I was, was like, closed. "That's what I heard too." Are you fucking kidding me? And so I was like, well, this fucking sucks. And there's like a police officer like waving and flares on the ground. And so I went all the way back up and everything. And I was like, well, I'm already going to be late. I'm going to stop and get a donut. So I stopped and got a donut. Wait, did you, did only you tell get your one? boss? No, I got two donuts. How much is it for two donuts? Uh, for two donuts and my little like Nesquik milk, it was like four bucks. Oh, uh, so you something. got the Nesquik. Yeah. yeah. It's not that expensive. My friend Nesquik. <laughs> but, uh, but so anyways, I was it's like, okay. an expensive taste. I could go down the main road. And get to the f- freeway slower, or I could go the side route by my parents' house and get there faster. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll go down the side route. But I forgot that my ele- my old elementary school was on that road, mm. and that's right when they were going into school. And there's so much fucking traffic. Yep, because, again, there's only, like, one little road. So then I had nice. to make another detour around that school all the way to the freeway. And I finally got on the freeway, and there's traffic. And I'm like, oh, my fucking goodness. And there's traffic, traffic, traffic. And then I have to go onto a different freeway, which is the freeway by the old apartment. And at this point, it was already like 7.20, and I was already 20 minutes late. And I'm like, fucking... Did you call your goodness. boss at all? Were you just like, well, hey, the no only one's, bridge... No one's down. awake at that time. He said, hey, boss, I got oh. donuts, so and I'm late. I just, like, I'm just texting them, like, saying, like... I just said, the bridge is out, I'm going to be late. And then I didn't even tell her about, like, all the other things I ran into. And then I was late on the... Fr- traffic on the freeway. And then I merged onto the other freeway, and it sounds like something hits my window, and I was like, huh, that's weird. But I was like, whatever. And then so I just kept going, and my music was blasting because my car has really old windows that rattle. And so I'm just driving along, driving along, driving along, and I'm almost to work. I'm like two exits away. And then I hear just like a really loud, like it's just really loud sounding like driving. Did like, I go, yuck, No, it was like, uh, like really loud, like louder than usual. Okay. But Someone it's... in the back seat. <laughs> and then so I was like looking around and none of the cars around me looked like they were like souped up or done anything to. And so <laughs> I was like, okay, that's weird. I was like, what? what's making that sound then? Your front differential so I went out. I slowed down. Oh, shut up. I slowed down. I turned down my music and... It sounded like it was my car, and I was like, oh, what the fuck? And then I slowed down a bit, and then the sound stopped. I was like, huh, that was weird. So I sped up again, and it started, and it was even louder. 
And so I was like, what the fuck? So I went, I was like getting over to the side of the road and the slower I got, the bumpier it got. And I was like, no fucking way. And I get to the shoulder of the freeway, which by the way, this shoulder on the freeway that yeah, I was I next to is like the size of a fucking desk. Yeah. All I got it was is, so fucking small. You know how my car like trunk opens all the time? <laughs> yeah. It takes forever to find a spot to pull over because of that. Yeah. I want to say something to about go. that after you're done They're with so the story. They're so fucking small. And so I Never pull over and I, I can't open my door because it's like the yeah. lane next to me. And so I like crawled over my passenger <laughs> seat, opened the window and looked down. My fucking tire was flat. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? At least it was a tire. It could have been like something hit your oil pan and now your engine's out of oil. Oh, God, Um, that would suck. You would have blew your motor. (laughs) Oh, yeah, no, that's bad. Then I was like, well, like, this exit was right there and it was a really wide exit. So I was like, maybe I could try and get there so that way I'm not, like, on the freeway, Yeah, so you don't feel like a semi-truck's going to kill you. Yeah, and then, like, I just went, (laughs) like, two little rolls. (laughs) And my tire was like, nah. (laughs) And I I had no idea how long I'd been driving on it like that so i didn't want to fuck up the rim anymore if i already had because that means i would have to buy four new rims and so i was like oh yeah because they don't sell yours anywhere yeah probably. so i was like well just have mismatched rims. i'm just gonna sit here Good. and then i text my manager i was like yep i got a flat tire so there's no way i'm making it in and then uh like in general no yeah i mean my shift's only three hours long yeah. like by the time i got all of this taken care of I would only go in for like an hour, maybe 45 minutes. And I was like, I'm not doing that. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going. You know what happens? Just have your manager right? hand you like a $15. <laughs> and then I called cash. like AAA and then they they were like, yeah, Tow Truck be there in 45 minutes to an hour. And I was like, oh my God. Really? <laughs> time to yeah. eat my donuts. That's exactly what I did. I sat there. I was anxious the whole time waiting for some car to smash into the back of me. And uh, then See? I... F- you saying that it just makes me think of those videos where it's like a police officer pulls over a car on the freeway <laughs> and then some other car just smashes right in the back of the Yikes. police car. That's all I imagine every time. That's all happened. I was waiting. To, yeah, that's all Yikes. I was waiting for to happen, dude. I was those so people fucking either not the paying time. attention and they veer off, or I don't even know. They just, just happen to crash. But right next to that. the bad day continues because the tow truck finally gets there. It was my only seven a.m. Boys, my donuts didn't have glaze on. And them. then I was like, okay, <laughs> my milk was rotten. <laughs> Because the lady was like, oh, do you have a spare tire? And I've never seen the spare tire on my on my car before. I was like, because every time I've gone under, I've never been able to see it. So was, was it like, under? I have no idea if I Does your car have a thing where the mats lift up on the back? No. It's not under your car either? Well, what the thing is is that it's tucked up yeah. really high, yeah. and you have to hit something to lower it, yeah, and then you can take it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how you I didn't know It's like probably a crank or something. Yeah, so anyways, the guy was like, well, it's already up on the tow truck, so he's like, are you just going to get a new tire? And I was like, yeah. And then we wanted to go to the place over by my parents' house just in case like I couldn't afford a tire <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right then and there because they're, they're very expensive. expensive. And so I was like, okay, so then we had to go back there. But the thing is that we had to cross that bridge to get to my parents' house, and the bridge was out. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, so you can't go on that bridge. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, we're going to have to take a detour. So aggressive. And so I was like, so then I was guiding the fucking tow truck guy back to this guy. <laughs> the way you talk about him, I just imagine some really giant guy it's, where his hands, yeah. are, where hands were huge, where he's driving with like his thumb <laughs> and his <laughs> finger. Yeah, where he's just like so, skull with his where, hands. Where he's like so big, nothing fits in his hands. So he's just like. He was, he was a bigger guy. But anyways, so we're, we're driving. He's half ogre. And I'm the type of person where <laughs> like if, if it's just back. like me and someone else, like in an Fiona. elevator or whatever, like. I don't feel the need to have to talk to someone. Like yeah, I can sit I in that. silence and be I'll okay. And this guy was not one of those people. He was like, "Oh, uh, you're going to work?" And I was like, "I mean, I was trying to, but I <laughs> definitely got stopped." Oh, he's the Uber driver that won't shut yes. the fuck up. And then he's like, "Ah, oh, yeah." And then I was like, "Uh, yeah, the, the bridge is out uh, because there was a wreck over there. I guess that's why I had to take the freeway. That's why I got a flat tire." He's like, yeah, big, big, massive wreck over there. We had someone from our company go do it. And I was like, oh, uh, that's wild, man. I hope it gets, I hope no one's hurt. And he's like, yeah. And then he stopped talking. And I was like, okay, cool. I think that, <laughs> I think I've reached the peak where he can be okay now. And then I was like, cool. And then I just like went on my phone. And then he's like, did you, uh, did you watch any spring training? And I was like, huh? you mean for what? baseball? And he's like, yeah. I was like, I mean, I, I watch, I check up on my team, but I haven't watched any of it. I don't really like have cable. And he's like, oh, no cable, huh? I'm like, yeah. And then he's got quiet again, and <laughs> he just kept on like awkward little tidbits the whole way home. It's like, stop and it. And this fuck, like we said earlier, this like detour is so fucking long, <laughs> and I was just long like, 
Please make this stop. It's like, like got a family. It sounds, it sounds like your fam, like one of your family members you haven't seen for a while. Yeah, and you have your few basic questions. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you? Do you have? What do you? Where do you work? Together. Do you go yeah. to school? And then we get to the tire <laughs> place. They didn't have my tire. You had to go get it, so I didn't have my car. I so you're just sitting there home. for like four hours? No, I, I went home because it's not that far from my parents' house. He said, and now I'm going home. And then the internet was down, and that's a whole other conundrum Jesus of problems. Jesus Christ, Travis. And then fucking, uh, and then some, and then I had to do my taxes, and that fucking was just, that's just a headache. Did you put on your visor with a little note on it? No, it was too lazy. <laughs> and then I just, like, it was just, it was a long fucking day. Did you day. do your taxes, Nick? Did I? We have an arranger because I'm... Uh, technically is under my dad's stuff. I mean, I am too, but I can still do it. Yeah. Mm. But, like, um, my income isn't, like, high enough. Oh, true. You don't... Yeah. You don't yeah. Because if I yeah. went to the arranger yeah, or right, whatever, right. it would have costed more. I just use TurboTax. Yeah. yeah. It's so convenient. I did Man. my taxes with TurboTax, and they're like, hey, you got 20 bucks. I'm just like... Hey, 20 bucks. That's 20 okay. bucks. I mean... It's about 20 bucks. Last two years, I've done my fucking taxes. You always owed money somehow. You had to pay? Money somehow. Why? Be- I'm telling you, it's because the GameStop messed up. Remember where they weren't like taking tax out of your checks? Are you no, an that exempted worker that or something? That wasn't GameStop. It was the oil company used. That's what it was. They, yeah. Were you an exempted screwed, worker? I'm t- no. I'm telling you, that screwed you over. It's just because, like, I, I have no idea. I think it's because my dad was claiming me, but yet I, and I was still making all that money, but yeah. I wasn't paying any rent or anything. So it was like, yeah, you owe money. oh, you don't need fucking, you don't need that. Like, gimme, give gimme. Give but now. Since I was living in the apartment for right. more than half of last year, and I claimed myself this year, I got a lot of money back. <laughs> That's pretty good. And then I, I did my school and everything this year, too, so I, I got some money back. I, I wonder, if you it. claim yourself, does it allow you to get financial aid better? Like, more... Probably. I would yeah. think so. Pro- absolutely. Yeah, if I did my FAFSA where I was saying that I was living on my own and paying all my own bills, then, yeah, that would definitely help me out. Yeah. But Do you since... have to prove it? I think so. Probably, yeah. Or if anything, if you don't, if there's that one point where they, for some reason they need proof, good luck. FAFSA is just a fucking headache to work through. And that, that's is. one thing they wanted to do for my taxes because it, like, it was like renters in California could get certain things. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I clicked on it. It was like proof of living and all of that stuff. You're just and like, technically Dang. at the apartment, we didn't. You weren't even we on like, the, the lease. Well, we weren't we were on the lease, lease, but we lived there. Yeah. We lived there, but yeah. not not like any official documents showing yeah. we did though. Yeah, so I was like, well, like our proof was basically giving money to re- our roommate. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then like all your personal letters and whatever still went to your home homes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, I was like, whatever, dude. I don't, I don't, well, I don't care about that. I, I got, I know I got a lot of books or a lot of books, a lot of money back for my refund for my textbooks. That's pretty good. Yeah, I was happy about that. Yeah. So. Being being an exempted worker kind of sucks, cause it's like how does that even happen? I have no idea. Um, if you're a freelance like I am, uh, you have yeah. to report your own taxes. Yeah. yeah, you have to report because you just basically get paid in cash. Yeah. And yeah, no one's keeping track. That's true. So you have to kind of be like, hey, I made this much, and then they'll be, they'll be like, okay, you pay twenty percent. Yeah, it's like fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's raining again. Was there thunder? I don't know. thunder? I don't, last night was really crazy. You know, we got to mention that. I didn't hear any thunder. In California, we actually got a lot of rain. Oh, it's, or in it's Southern rain. California. It's rained more than it hasn't. It's, it's rained like for the I past really whole like, like month and a half. It's rained a lot. I love it, dude. I've, it been, worked, me off. I've been worked for so long because there's so much rain. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Because I can't work when it rains. Yeah. I'm just like, man. But um, last night, I was like playing games or whatever. And then. Was it Apex? Are you a hardcore gamer? Yeah, man. But I had my headphones on and I was like. I can hear something and my window's closed. So I'm like, is someone cooking? I can hear something. There's just rain going through yeah, his window. No, like, <laughs> like his it room is like so three inches fucking of water. Hard. Like yeah. between not raining and raining, it, it was rained, loud. Yeah. It rained so hard. And then it started thundering, and I was just like, what's happening, man? And I messaged my friend who also uh, lives with me. Did you feel that earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> have you never heard thunder before, Nick? I have, but it's just like it started within like a minute. So I was playing Apex, right? And I heard thunder, and I thought someone Jesus shot Christ, me. Jesus Christ, Raymond. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I accidentally... Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I... I'm out. I caught myself Pooping. accidentally doing a Fortnite dance the other day. Which one? I think... I How think... come I feel like it's the one where you jump on one leg and no. do that weird fist thing? I hate that one. Wait, no. which one? The one where you go like that? No. The loser well, that one's hand? bad, too, but... I think it's the flossing one. 
Because I was just like, I was moving yeah, my hips so. back and forth when I was standing, like waiting for my dad to hand me something. Did you do the one? And I was the... just moving my arms and I was like, uh oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> Did you do the face where it looks like you're in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Every time they do flossing, they always look like they got in trouble. I like, mean, they honestly, a, like, they always have a dead stare when they floss. I probably did because I just like, I was just lost in coordination. I was just lost in thought, just like Mm. moving back and forth, just like because I was helping my dad move things out of the RV because we have to get it fixed. By the way, the RV just moves slightly because he's like doing it right now. Oh, really? The whole thing's just slightly moving a little. Yeah, because I was like, I was doing it and then I came to and I was like, wait a minute. (laughs) No, (laughs) I don't want to. You're like, no, and then you disintegrate. (laughs) He said, no, Slicky Five. (laughs) Slicky Five, huh? <laughs> slicky Five. It's like Maroon Five or Jackson no, Five. No, it's just Slicky Five. Are you guys excited that the Jonas Brothers are back? Is that a I thing? I don't care. Yeah, the Jonas Brothers are back. I was pretty they, excited. Is that one still the least liked? I have the no idea. The one that Jonas? looked like he was the one that just had a rounded head. Fred Jonas. They all look is so that Fred? similar. Yeah. Remember, there was that one though that wasn't I have as no popular. Clue. <laughs> well, Joe Jonas is the super popular guy. What is there, Joe? Edwin. Edwin, <laughs> isn't it, I'm just thinking isn't of names. Nick, I don't. Isn't I don't Nick, know Nick, at all. There's a Nick. Nick, yeah, Joe, Nick and Jonas. No, Joe, Nick, Frankie. No, what? it's not. Jonas, jo- Jonas, and Jonas Brothers. Do you want me to go? I'm gonna look it up. We need to look it I up. Look it I'm up right very now. curious. Wait, wait. I'm already looking it so, up. Nick. Ted Jonas. Spill Nick, your guts for Joe. Fill your guts. Joe, Phil. Kevin, and Frankie. Yeah, it's Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Is. There's a Frankie. It's Frankie. No, there isn't. See, told you. It's Frankie Jonas. <laughs> what is that? Their Wait, how many? Brother? Jo- no, it's Joe, Kevin, and Nick. Who's Frankie then? Who is, is Frankie? That? Is Frankie a like? Maybe he had a little brother, like a small one that wasn't a part of the trio. He's not even listed. Who's Frankie? He, well, he looks way younger, so he doesn't oh, they count. have they have Nick's name like way up. Like, oh, they don't is. have his picture. That's why I was like, that guy looks way younger than him. So okay, so it is Joe, Nick, Joe, Kevin, Joe Rogan, Jonas, is it Joe Rogan? And then podcast. Nick's the one who married the supermodel, right? I don't know anything about them. All right? <laughs> I don't know if celebrities. Do. I don't keep up with celebrities. Yeah, though. it's Nick. We're not relatable. He, Nick, he, how, okay. He married a. He married like a princess i mean okay nick are you like me where you just don't keep up with any celebrity at all pretty much at least in hollywood anyway yeah i just see it on twitter like i see i don't know i don't know you just go on the other search page and you see it's not even that just people retweet it oh really yeah like people like from high school oh yeah retweet and then again you guys know i don't go on twitter yeah Yeah. Yeah. i created my twitter to get away from people from high school (laughs) Like except I mean, my, like it's, close. It's only people friends. I like. From I was about high to say school. the yeah. people I keep in touch with from high school is people I actually like still talk to. Yeah, yeah. Other like, than that, it's other people that I don't care about. They're on Facebook, which doesn't matter. I feel anyway. like that's why Facebook is kind of dying a bit because like everyone after they graduated from our generation yeah. are it's just like, I'm gonna get away from Facebook because I don't want to create a new one, and all mm-hmm. my like random people from high school can see what I do. Yeah, like I I was trying to do things with. Uh, goof face instagram and then it kept on being like oh god i created a facebook god i created a facebook so Did i made a that? facebook page for us uh-huh. but i never intend to use that yeah, yeah there's no point. I never intend to i get like emails every so often it's like only, every day people the only, i've looked at the goof page i know page. i don't the fucking only care people that we would bank off of as old people if we posted really bad like washed up memes well maybe the old you know people, what we should nick do already that. does that on our twitter yeah so. that's that's the twitter no, do that on facebook we'll make money Oh, you're right. <laughs> Anything with a minion? <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, oh, old people love that. They don't even know what we don't even is. need ads, dude. We can just go yeah. on Facebook. Oh, Get God. monetized on Facebook. That's big brain, dude. We'll just steal other people's content. It's erase so, their it's watermarks. It's so weird thing about yeah. Facebook. It's in that weird spot where it wants to die, but it can't. <laughs> Yeah, there's too many people that still use it, but not our generation at Surprisingly, all. Surprisingly, a lot of cosplayers use Facebook. Yeah, because there's a lot. There's a, it's, it's like more a business. group thing now. It's more business. It's not even the now. business. It's I just, like I just know there's like it's like a thing where it's like we're having a meetup, like a group event. Yeah, it's, it's like, easy to set up. It's it's like that, but it's also like they have something in between a subreddit yeah. and a forum. It, that, I was about to say that it looks on like Facebook. it's like because forums are dead. It's either yeah. so it's either it's in a subreddit, but they're or not, you don't see it anywhere. Like else. there's something called um she prop or something like that, and yeah. it's like a girls a women only um cosplay yeah. Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And it's too small and too informal for a subreddit, but it's like too yeah. big and you know to be a form. And also, I feel like if you post pictures, it's so much more convenient because Reddit's kind of annoying with 
posting more than one picture. Yeah, at a time. Mm-hmm. it's not. Yeah, like you have to go through Imgur and yeah, everything. Yeah, that's why. Is Imgur. It a, is it Imgur about, or Imager? I always, Imgur. I always said Imgur. Imgur. Yeah, same. But Pretty talking good. about, do you guys, did you guys ever like go on forums a bunch like early internet? Yeah, yeah. I used absolutely. to go on, I, the other. So yesterday, I spent like two hours on the Wayback Machine. Trying oh, to go, buddy. There was this one RC forum I used to go on back in 2010. Yeah. Because there's this one guy I watch on YouTube that happened. They used to have an RC channel, and then I came across him like five or six years later. No, his name RC Craig. It's actually like 10 years later now. Because it was in 2010. So I used to watch this stuff then. And then I happened to realize I was watching him for like the past year and had no idea that was the same guy. Like it just hit me. That's wild. Wow. But he had an RC. They used to run an RC forum website. And I remember he used to go, used to go on that all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, re- I remember winning a like photo contest on there with my RC car. Yep. And I was just trying to find that just because I was so curious. Like, what was the picture I posted? I don't remember. <laughs> you found your old thing. You're like, XDI won. I couldn't find it. There wasn't enough, like, uh, there wasn't enough information. Saved. Was it, did you, did you put it on photo bucket? And like 10 years later, all you see is Honestly, something I don't, saying. I think it was just uploaded directly to the site. I don't think I had an image or okay. anything. But I was trying to find it. I was like, I'm just curious. And then I was looking through like the stuff that did exist. I was like, man, this is so weird. Yeah, because like, like I, forums are just like other than Reddit, like forums are just like dead now. Yeah, because like like what was it like a year ago? I went on GameFAX. Yeah. To see my old posts and whatever, and I used to use PhotoBucket, and that's yeah. the worst thing ever. Because after... did you set, did you ever have a MySpace? <laughs> no. Oh, was... that's why I set up PhotoBucket. MySpace. MySpace was the fucking place to be, dude. Anyway, so I, I had a PhotoBucket link, and basically after like. 50 clicks or whatever it says this image has gone over limit pay for more is that a clicks. thing oh that didn't they add that like a few years ago yeah or it's like because photo buckets and then, dying and, and then, then money because isn't there like a limit yeah you can post and you're just going to delete whatever is like pretty maxes much over the limit so you just might lose random pictures yup it sucks and i saw people getting mad about that but i'm like hey you should back up your pictures now yeah but that's why like forms are dead i think because reddit it's just yeah. all forms but then it sucks one. if you're red like reddit doesn't have something you're trying to find like for oh, like yeah. if I was saying like RC stuff, Reddit is not good for that. Really, really. Like there's one forum that's still kind of alive, but trying to find information Reddit is bad with our like there's nothing for RC. Mm. Makes it's really sense. small, and then if it is, it's about RC airplanes. I'm like, I don't care about the airplanes. Oh, you don't? That'd be cool. No, <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't, it doesn't interest me. Oh, okay. They're actually cheaper though. They're actually cheap though. I think it would be because it's just a propeller or whatever. You don't need all those like. Propeller. You just need the engine. Wow, like, so yeah, it's not as complex, but. <laughs> But yeah, it's, I don't know. It's just planes. I'm like, man, planes, planes, what? planes, planes. What was planes, that? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Was that a you book? Know, what? It's, I, it might be it's probably lots a of book. lots of jets it's and also planes. A movie. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know lots, what I would do if I was old though. Uh. I'm gonna because I I'm always thought if like if I had, was retired, I'd be that old guy that makes like a bunch of those like giant train looking things like the di- dioramas or whatever you call them. Like, would you have a basement and an entire basement oh, is just train tracks? Oh, dude, Like, same. where they build, like, the oh, mountain okay. and they have, like, tunnels they build for their trains and stuff. I'm like, that seems so fun. In you my brother's do room, 40K. <laughs> when huh? he was, like, a little kid, my dad built a train track mm-hmm. that was, like, on a shelf that went all around the room. That's really cool. Yeah, and it That's would just cool. be a train that goes around his room, like, all day long. It was really fun. You know what that yeah. reminds me of? Mm. So, when I used to, <laughs> oh, <laughs> when no. I used to get Hot Wheels when they sold them at Stater Brothers. <laughs> yeah. They had a picture on the back where it showed a Hot Wheel track going inside the wall, and it had a turn that went back out the wall. Yeah. And I remember staring at that, always being like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you one of those. a hole in your wall or something. But I'm telling you, when, the day I retire is the day I, um, I start my train hobby. I mean, that'd be, that'd be cool. I, you know what that reminds me of, though? What? It reminds me of, have you guys seen an actual Warhammer 40K like yeah. board? Those things yeah. are nuts. Those things. Well, are remember when we went so to the cool. hobby shop the other day when they had their like model like mm-hmm. tables? Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure that's how they play like, those, right? Games, Game Empire. What? Games Workshop. Have you guys ever had a Games Workshop in your mall? No. So in that mall? is that like a franchise game store? It was like a Ford. It was like a Warhammer. Uh, no, we never. So had it's that. like a hobby shop type thing. It is, but it's focused they, on Warhammer and like so they half the like, store is taken up by this giant table that so you they, can just I'm, play on. So they play all the tabletop games. Yeah, like where you do your own figures and but stuff. But it's specifically Warhammer, so you uh, get this giant like sculpted out like those someone things are went expensive. through. And there's moss. There's like moss looking shit those all over the place. Fun. Like I, would, I wouldn't play the game. I feel like, but I feel like I'd be interested I just in just painting set up. the figures. Yeah, honestly, I was watching. Uh, it was super interesting. Yesterday, I found a YouTube video about the longest Dungeons and Dragons game ever Isn't played. It still going? Oh yeah, it's, it's like still 30, going. 35 years they've been doing mm-hmm. it. Yeah, and they went into the guy, the dungeon master's house, and his basement's like 
it's just it's like work a shelves room. just full their of lore just a bunch of different like creatures figures and he also has his statues giant TV. yeah so people could like tune yeah. in and play from like i think one of them's from england yeah. oh really yeah, yeah. Huh. and then i was like fuck dude i would love to see a like a full-length documentary on this just like because every time they they start a new journey like the the people will come in and they'll be so excited to see like what he's done like the new landscapes that he builds because he builds each landscape for their new journey with all like figures and he repaints i really i really hope fucking insane i really hope they do something with it where they make money off of this what dungeons and dragons I mean, Wait, who the the guy the or people that do it? The, the people that have that game going still. Oh, oh that one. I'm pretty sure they. I'm can. sure they could probably start filming it. I mean, yeah. like you look at like Critical Role. Oh yeah, that's just like Isn't that oh the my one god, with voice actors. Yeah, yeah Critical Role, and, and then they have um. They're what's the other kickstarting one? a uh, an animated series of it now. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. And I was like, that's really fucking cool. Speaking of kickstarted animated series. Um, do you guys know that red food truck that goes to every convention? Yeah, I talked about it what at about uh, it? ALA on the Goof Paste Instagram. Wait, what I about did? it? Yeah. What about it, though? Um, they have an anime coming out. Well, Wait, the food truck trying. company? Yeah, they're, they're really? trying. They're trying. I don't know how. They're probably not going to make their goal. I, I think it's think... already over by now. What is it? See. What's it called? Oh, it was like Okamoto Kitchen or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's going to be a food anime. Yeah, is it gonna be like a short, like six episode? Uh, it's about I don't know. this girl that came from Japan. It's the and... it's the girl on the truck, and she's the main character, and she's like, oh, uh, so they're so basically their character for their food truck is gonna be in the anime. Yeah, they have yeah. episode zero. Where you can watch. oh, it it's it, they passed. Oh, did they? Yeah, it's fifty eight thousand out of forty eight. Also 000. thinking of more Kickstarter. Remember that one? Is that the top goal though? What is that like? The highest goal was forty eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. Forty eight thousand was like. This is like we oh, can make. It. Speaking of like yeah. the Kickstarter anime, remember that one we watched about like the coffee shop? With the oh, coffee shop? the robot one. Do you know what it was called? But no. That one was Kickstarter, and that one was pretty good. But it was fantastic. Because I remember, what was it called? It was something with Ro, Robo Black or something. No, no? it's something else. Uh, it's on Crunchyroll. Yeah, Old like, Street Coffee. No, no, no. That's an actual coffee stock. Yeah, it was like a really. It was a short, but it was actually really fun. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah, I so. don't know. Yeah, well, I'm anyway wearing, though, I'm actually that's... wearing a Crunchyroll wristband today. Uh oh, you're also wearing your uh, Japanese Game, Game of Thrones. Of Bones. Oh my god, the new Game of Thrones trailer came out, and I'm so fucking excited for that. Yeah, pitch me on it. April fourteenth. So pitch me on it. in the trailer, yeah, so it showed you get like. A picture, so uh, <laughs> Um, My stomach's gonna growl on this podcast. I know it. It shows like yeah. Jon Snow Hungry getting man. back to to his homeland with Daenerys and all the dragons coming around. It shows like all the main characters, and then at the end it has it shows like almost all the main characters like lining up in a battle formation, and then it like zooms out looking towards like from far like away, selfie. and then it has the like the horse legs, like the dead horse legs of the the White Walkers. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be so fucking. Ugh, I can't wait. It's gonna be really fucking good. Didn't a lot of people like hate on the last season because in the books it was like thirty chapters of a guy running through snow. The books don't even get to the the last season. The last season's all original. Oh, okay. The all books I gotta say is cut off like I think in like the fourth or fifth season. So is there gonna be like a divergence and it's gonna come back to where the books are, or no? The books end. Like the books end at like the. I mean, he's season. still writing the books though. Mm-hmm. Your, George R. R. Martin's still writing the next book. Well, then it's probably just what he wrote for the show. Okay, yeah. Because he started writing for the show. Because they surpassed uh, him. Like, stopped writing he said the they books. surpassed him. Yeah, because it was, well, taking, how many seasons yeah. are there it was taking him too long to write the books. Yeah, because <laughs> well, yeah, like, if you rush it, he's going to be bad. And then yeah. some people... So he just started writing for the show. That's why anyone who says that like the show is different than anything, they're dumb. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're like, because the books stopped this long ago. <laughs> the books ago. haven't even come out yet, and then when the books come out, they're yeah. just going to be what the show was. No, no, it's always not fair when people say the book is better. I'm like, yeah, they have so much time to explain things on like, the show. Yeah, it took them fucking how long to write it's a like, book? You have, yeah, you, you have, have... So if you had, like, I don't know, like a 12... If you had, like, 12 episodes and 12 hours of, like, film... That does not. That's like not even close to the content of yeah, one book. Because like when you're writing, you yeah. have like all that Very, time to explain yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But on yeah. screen, you have yeah. like a Limited split second. Of time. Yeah. Like one page yeah. on a script is one minute. And then trying, and then yeah, trying to, so and then trying to create a world that's only on text. Yeah. And trying to make it real is already a task in itself. So you yeah. Know. But 
Yeah. Not saying yeah. that. Not saying that writing is easy. Yeah, it's Travis not easy. Well, because you still write for the. Yeah. You still right. write for the show. Because Travis would know that writing yeah, is hard. Easy. It's just yeah. Writing is definitely. It's just you have a lot less to worry about. But yeah, I I can definitely get where like, you you just have a lot more time to dive into characters and add little things that are you know unique to you but that's why like the author of the books is writing the show like he's the yeah, is he? yeah. He's, yeah he oh is. that's why then. he that like he stopped writing the books so he could write the show and now if he were to write more books it would just be probably more in-depth look of what the show is and so how recent was the this him is stopping a, that was a long time ago oh really how many yeah, seasons are there ago. as of now uh, this is gonna be the eighth and final season uh, that starts. So in they, he yeah, did stop a while ago because people were like, "Oh, I hope George R. R. Martin doesn't die." I'm just like, "Well, I'm sorry that the <laughs> old guy that's writing your favorite book is like old. how old is he? Like, I'm I'm sorry that his book is more 80s. important than his life. You know, how old is he? I think he's in his eighties. Yeah, he's old. Yeah, like, that that make me sad if I was him and be like, people don't even care about me. They just yeah, want yeah, my yeah. story. That's bad. Yeah, but it's uh, so toxic. People are people are just want what they want. Agree. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why he's ending it. He's probably like I'm. T- he's, he's like, like I'm old. I just yeah. need to stop. Yeah. If I was him, I would have been like I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I know. Even if you like really love the series, start building. Like, start building your trains. Yeah, there's a there's a point in time where you have to stop and build your dragon trains or some shit. Man, I was gonna bring up something and I'm trying really hard to remember. Well, maybe you can remember while I ask the question of the week. You know, we, yeah. Wow, we're only halfway. Through. We're already halfway through. I mean, mm-hmm. we are. So, yeah. this question of the week, I thought it was really fun because my answer is really weird. What color is my underwear? That's the question of the week. I don't know what color my underwear is. I think mine's AMC. blue. Oh, it's striped. Sponsored by me on D- No. I wish. I, I wish. wish. That's an, that's another 100,000 subscribers away. Uh, so anyways, um, <laughs> the question of the week this week is... I just remembered something. <laughs> what, like, when you were a kid, yes. as far back as you can remember, what was the first job that you wanted to do? Oh, I know that easy. What is it? Construction workers. Really? <laughs> really? I wanted to drive tractors. Yeah, it makes oh, sense. Because my dad worked in construction. So in my mind, I'm thinking of him like he didn't drive tractors, but yeah. he, he did framing and stuff. But in my mind, I always pictured him driving like like a loader or something, like picking up dirt. So I remember in kindergarten, I'd always draw pictures of me being a construction worker. And you worker. put a Joe Dirt on your... And then your, after that... Joe your Dirt. dirt. <laughs> just real quick, I, I wanted to be that. And a mix of being an archaeologist at the same time. Makes sense. Of Jackie Chan Adventures. Yes, <laughs> I knew it. That was a part of it. But before that, I wanted to because I like dinosaurs. Okay. And I remember yeah. my mom talked about how blah 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 about the bone, like discovering bones and doing all that. Are so dinosaurs like, still like hyped up for kids nowadays? Yeah. Oh like, I remember, God, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Oh yeah. Okay. Dinosaurs like, are re- never not cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but but like I remember when we were kids, dinosaurs were like yeah. huge. Like, no, dinosaurs for are monster some trucks. reason. Yeah, like for some reason, dinosaurs and archaeology specifically was like it's Jurassic really Park. pushed. Yeah, Jurassic oh, Park. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Jurassic oh. Park. Those were those are the movies that were coming out. That right, makes sense. Right well, we guess, were, yeah. we'll guess, well, now kids just care about looking at their screen for YouTube kids apps <laughs> yeah. and Fortnite. But I mean, like, yeah, that that's what had me out digging in my backyard looking for dinosaurs. So bones. did you feel oh, the yeah. same? You wanted to look at dinosaurs? That wasn't. Bones? It, it was like, it was basically what you had, mm-hmm. but it was a step before that got me there. Actually, no, that's a lie. There was two. So, my first one so, was I wanted to be a garbage truck driver. Hey, they make good money, actually. They yeah, do. they make very good money. They don't really have to touch that much yeah. garbage. Well, just, they either. just have to They just smell. be in the truck. Yeah. But they actually, yeah. they actually make really good money. Just yeah, so, um, in your truck. <laughs> yeah. That was that was the first job because I I just love like the truck like comes out with a claw and picks up the bin like I just imagine you because there's this one picture on Reddit where uh, there's a kid that always watched like the truck pick uh-huh. up the trash cans and he gave him a gift like on his like Christmas or something that was so me. I imagine that's you doing that, that was absolutely me there's there's it was him. there's many many pictures of me sitting in like the garbage truck person's like wait. truck next to him wait okay so in Hollywood video did you rent did you rent that one like VHS. I was all it. about big trucks, right? I own and I remember it. they had one about like about garbage trucks. working about in a landfill. So they showed all the huge like machinery just moving around all the junk. Yep. I wanted. And then uh, after that, I wanted to be a gardener because I love lawnmowers and mm. stuff like that. And that then, changed. And then, I got to, and then I got to construction work. Yeah. Okay. So what about you, Nick? for me, I wanted to be a cop. Or a firefighter. Did you go freeze? And then your dad's like, "Oh, shut up! You're not gonna be a cop ever. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> fail. You're not. Oh yeah, you're firefighter. Of course. <laughs> I'm really surprised no one here said astronaut. That's usually. No. Like, oh yeah, um, no astronaut. I really wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. I remember. I thought yeah. space was cool, but I never thought about it. Yes, I was like always interested in space. My dad's like, "You're going to be like 
if you want to be an astronaut, prepare to like math. And then I hated math, and I was just like, bye bye. See, this, that's the one thing we all have in common. We hate math. Yeah. Yep. I remember I wanted to be an astronaut, but like super later on, like in middle school, because I took a trip to Florida with my family, yeah. and we went to Cape Canaveral, and I got to touch a moon rock, which is fucking cool as shit. But at that point, I was like, I want to no. say, but I'm pretty sure I flex about this enough. What? What? The the meteor, the little like space rock I have. Yeah, you did not flex about that enough. Never so I had no about idea. Really? Ever. I feel like you mentioned it once. I've, I I've never heard of that. Really? Like even outside with, of the podcast? I've never heard Wait, you how'd say you end that. Up with okay. That? So my uncle. So my uncle went to space and he brought it back to me. <laughs> God and he said, damn. "Here you go." He shot the opportunity an Land Rover. He also, he also drove the Land Rover RC car on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> and his front differential broke off. <laughs> <laughs> and he just fixed it today, all day. <laughs> no, so don't forget the hundred K diff oil. I don't know where my uncle got it from, but he visited uh, California because he lives in Minnesota. What if um, it was just from the swap meet and it wasn't real? The it, whole time? Oh my god! It's just, a, it's just, it's just a, like an old meatball that just hard enough. <laughs> His dinosaur poop. Hey, that'd be pretty cool though. Either way. Yeah, I mean. Um, but it it's like this. It looks blackened, like it looks charred up and yeah. stuff, and it has all these like weird. Have you seen a volcano rock? Yeah, I have. You I know how they look all porous, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks like that, but it's not a volcano rock. Because I think he took it to like a museum and they were like, oh, yeah, there's a me right. And it's like. Did he mail it to the museum? No. Like what the crossing? fuck? <laughs> he just uh, put it in the package. You mail it to the museum? Yeah. Well, in the crossing? first game, you did. First oh, okay. Yeah, too, yeah. Yeah. I always took to the owl guy. Well, yeah, well, you do. You still do after. Can, but, but you had okay. to mail it first. Yeah. And he's did always they stop that after the first game? Yeah. I was that for also the DS. No, it's for no. after the first game you could just take it to him. Yeah. Mm. What was it? Yo. Like, was it a monkey who was the mailman? No, it was an owl. No. Wait, a the mailman? mailman? Yeah, he's a mailman. monkey. Yeah, no. the mailman He's a like, monkey. I'm no. sick of carrying your shit the to mailman a mailman is a pelican just like, like hit, hit me with the real no facts. there's a, no there's two there's the pelican one that flies in your mail and there's also a monkey one i know what you're talking about right i've never seen a monkey one which yeah. game is that in i don't know unless it's i a played game, but you are right about the pelican yeah. i played wild in. world and the one after that i don't because i have a no, 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 no the monkey's either. the train guy. yeah the monkey's the train oh, guy. okay fucked up God, okay so the pelican up. guy's like i'm sick of carrying your shit to the museum yeah Go no, remember, give your dead remember bodies the, to remember the, the yourself. Mean girl pelican. Yeah. The, hey, you know, I had her picture though. The meme girl. <laughs> you know girl? it's in um She's mean. Oh, okay. Mean. It's now it's like mean, canon but... in that series that um the the nice girl has a crush on the the pelican guy. Mm-hmm. But he has a crush on the mean girl. Why would he like the mean one? Right? What are you talking about? Why the good so, guys like me? You know mean the clerk girls? in the in the post office, yeah, there's two of them. There's yeah. the nice clerk, and then there's the mean clerk. Yeah, the mean clerk was at night, wasn't it? I think so. And no, well, no, they just switched off days. No. So, anyways, the the nice pelican clerk has a crush on the pelican guy that like takes you your mail, mm-hmm. but the pelican guy has a crush on the mean clerk. Wait. Okay, so there's just, a pelican. Just to say it easy for you, all right. they all they are for the sake of the podcast. I understand with the coffee shop guy. <laughs> oh, that guy's cool. What oh, is he, by the way? The is he a bird, right? Yeah. He's a pelican. Or no, not a pelican. He's a parrot he's a or pigeon. something. Pigeon? pigeon? That's yeah, what he is. he's a pigeon, yeah. Yeah, he's cool. I he's remember, always just like, so. I remember there was never, was it, did you get his picture by drinking, like buying a bunch of his coffee? I haven't got the coffee shop I never in my got world it. yet. I'm so. Uh, I, was thinking of, I was thinking of the DS I don't know how game. To get, I don't know how to get it. I was thinking of the DS game. I've literally gotten. Which game? All the fossils uh, in the fucking museum Wait, which I haven't got. 3DS? Yeah. You don't have it? No. It's in the museum. I haven't got that. Oh, wait, the wild. Okay, that's wild the next. World? That's the next public yeah. of like public uh, thing. Because you got to think do. about it. That he doesn't cheat when he plays the game. Yeah, he actually plays right. day by day. I do. Which is the only way you should wait, play. What I do you log mean? in every yeah. Well, like switching your Where DS. You, could, you just change the day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do setting it to your birthday all the time so you get whatever. <laughs> I just have all the stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> they all yeah. love me. I, I used Action Replay once on the did, regular too. DS version. I used it when the, I didn't play the every, game anymore. So me and my friend, yeah. were like, let's just Action Replay because I, I had so many weeds in my town. But then I got uh, bored immediately. And then there was an Action Replay cheat where it was 100 lines of code. Oh. Or like, you know you had to input it? Uh-huh. Oh. So there's 100 lines and we just sat there for like an hour inputting every single bit. You were we put it in game. wrong so we had to do it again. Yikes. <laughs> and then it turned all our weeds into money. Jinx. There we go. And then that was the last rooftop. time I ever played that game. You owe me a Coke. There's a rooftop. Are that you ready gross. to fall? What Buddy. does it mean? You don't know what the counter to Jinx is? There's a counter? There's yeah. There's a counter to Jinx. Rooftop. I didn't know that. What the fuck? What the fuck are you on about, dude? Okay, There's look. There's two ways I've ever known how to play Jinx. The main way is when you say Jinx, 
The other person can't talk until someone says right, their name. Right, yeah, yeah. But we're on a podcast, so I'm not going to fucking do that stupid. Jinx. So the other way is <laughs> you say, Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Yeah. So you owe me a Coke. Yeah, that's shit. a thing. You but there's a counter if you're over. There's no fucking There's a counter. counter. No, there no, no, fucking no. is I believe you're counter because different schools have Hold different rules. Hold on, idiot. That rhymed. The counter. Come on, type man. Are you hacking into your oh, computer? Oh, fucking LA. Jinx, you owe me a play. soda. Jinx, rooftop. Yeah, it's rooftop, dude. Look. No, there fucking isn't. No, I believe that because I thought orange... Ladybugs are poisonous. She went on to explain that when two people say the other person is something jinx, and then apparently jinxing is serious stuff. She informed us that you can't jinx under a roof or on top of a cloud, which doesn't make sense because you're never on top well, of a cloud. Well, guess what? Rise Against go. wasn't so out yet, so they didn't make You cannot rooftop. jinx under a roof, Travis. So your jinx Actually, isn't valid. this isn't a roof. That's a roof. It's over your head. It's a roof. Mm-mm. What is it? Because that... Your house is a roof. This is more like a round ceiling. It's not even round. Yeah, it's it's round. But is there a ce- but is there a ceiling without a roof? Either way, no. Nick's rule is <laughs> fucking invalid because the other part of it is being over a cloud. No, I said or the other. Or yeah, but either way, you moved your mouth so far. <laughs> or Travis, because I don't want to like oh, you yours. You owe me a coke. You know, I've never, I wish I've gotten a Coke out of it. That's that's my Coke, Nick. That's you can't take Coke. my Coke. It's not Coke. Coke. <laughs> it's Coke Zero. All right, buddy. I'll just buy Does you a Coke. Does it actually taste different? Um, I've never had a Coke Zero. You know, it like dr- when I went to drink it, I was like, eh, it's Coke Zero. But like, I just needed something. Yeah. And then um, with flavor, because all I've been drinking for fucking five days of water, and I'm like, I need flavor, please. <laughs> and so I, I grabbed it. Berry smoothies. And honestly, I was like, berry smoothies. It's it's pretty good. For zero zero sugar, does it I was taste like, wow different? Because I've heard either it tastes really good or really bad. You know when you drink a diet drink and it's like it's got that it, weird, it's got that weird taste. Yeah. You don't get that until the very end of your sip, so and it's very slight. So like oh, okay. you you taste Coke and then like the aftertaste kind of is like that diety taste, but it doesn't matter because the first taste was the Coke and it's delicious. So why 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 is there diet Coke or whatever and then there's also Coke Zero? Because I think diet doesn't have like anything and then this is just zero sugar is it still have calories well, diets, i don't know i thought it's diet zero. wait is diet reduced sugar or zero sugar i think diet is like no calories or something well, this one has no Which calories doesn't make sense and it, it only has two percent mm. sodium uh-oh hey coke what the fuck also have you guys had I don't know what the difference is man i don't work there have you guys had the orange vanilla coke i've asked you this and you said no no i didn't even know that was a thing okay, by the so way I thought you just real quick cream soda this one burger place me and travis you like love to go to they have a, they have a part on their machine that's just straight like vanilla flavor oh, yeah. so whatever soda you get you get a splash of vanilla on it Ooh, that's or good. strawberry oh, what were you gonna say though which is oh, that what i want to try next i was gonna say that um my friend or uh i don't want to say Jinx, you owe me a coke <laughs> Wait, I can do strawberry vanilla next time. Man. All right. Anyway, my roommate and I were out until like 1.30 a.m. Wow. looking for orange vanilla Bad Coke. Bad boys. Because it came out on Monday, and no store has it except Stater Brothers. That was like, that was like our just search. call them? What? Why didn't you just call them? This is 2019. We don't call. We're we'll Gen call. Z. Yeah. We, we, I call. We post on Facebook and We text and ask. them first. Yeah. yeah. That was like, that was what my mom always made me do whenever I wanted to go somewhere. She'd be like, my call, make too. sure first. I was like, mom, the game just came out today. They're going to fucking have it. My dad we did call that. Call first. My dad oh, did that. I, and I never like, called because I hate calling. Yep. I was just uh, like, yeah. I guess I'm not getting the game then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought you meant like restaurants because I guess restaurants you should. What, for reservations? Yeah. For, like, do you have, like, if you go to a small restaurant and you're like, hey, do you guys have room? Because you're not <laughs> necessarily going to. Well, I guess in L.A., not here. Yeah, not never here, that busy. You never, That's true. You Depending. Never only, I mean, chain, only chain restaurants are busy out here. Unless it's, oh, like. Because it's not L.A., so, you know. <laughs> unless it's, like, in downtown yeah. or, like, in a plaza that's popular. Yeah. Besides that, it's, like, around yeah. this area, fuck, yeah, you're fine. There's probably not enough <laughs> You'll be people. all right. <laughs> unless it's, like, unless you're trying to go to, like, a bar and grill yeah, on, like, a big sports day, then. But besides, like, you should anticipate it being crowded. Yeah. But yeah. it's like, Part I don't want to do that grill. to them where you come in with a big group of friends and be like, yeah, so uh, we well, didn't yeah. make a reservation. If you're coming with like six people, you should. Yeah. Because that's a lot of people out of nowhere. Yeah. Because I, I don't know if you guys Depends work restaurants or anything, go. but that's the worst thing you Because if you, went, you, if you went in a hole in a wall, then you should call. Hole in a wall. Because <laughs> they're not prepared for sure. Depends where you go. Like if you go to LA, I'm sure most people are prepared for big groups out of nowhere. They are, but if it's you're still in a popular, pain in the ass. Okay, popular spots in LA. Like if you went to Little Tokyo, 
it's still a pain in the ass for the employees. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter where you work. It's always like if it's almost closing or no, if, I don't go if it's almost nah, closing. You do yeah, that. or if it's like a peak hour and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna come in with like six, seven people. And See, if you do that and they tell you they're gonna wait for a while and you're fine with that, then I guess it's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's but fine. if you make a big deal about waiting, that's your fault. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so if like, they tell me like, oh, be an hour, I'd be like, oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. So either just sit there or leave. Yeah, it's funny you, you bring do. that up. So I was wondering, get out. Wondering what you get guys out, think. Get out. And so now when I was out. going to the college, not going to college, <laughs> fuck my head's all over the place. You don't shut up. <laughs> when I was going to the tire center yesterday, when tire my tire blew out, I was like, <laughs> should I call them beforehand and say, hey, is it okay? Like, I need, I'm getting my car towed. Can I bring my car there right now? Yeah. I yeah, I would like, do that. Yeah, I, that would I it would. It should be fine. I was like, I mean, it's a Tuesday, like eight in the morning. Yeah. Like, I'm sure they'll be open you gotta find but the whole time line. i was getting there i was like eh, should sure, i just call cool. i was like i don't know and then when i got there like it was totally open just like i thought but i was like i still feel like i should have just called yeah like just to just to give them a heads up yeah i feel like you should but knowing if you're like me you just don't want to call yeah i don't mind calling it's just uh-huh. i figured like it's like eight or nine in the morning on a tuesday well they open at six in the morning do they yeah uh, who's gonna bring their car car the places the open early yeah, but it was well, Tuesday. repair shops. Well, I don't fine. know about that's like true. that. Oh, because like, they have to close before dark. Because they're usually not. They're only open mm. till five. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I forgot Makes about sense. that. Yeah, I was like, they open really early. Yeah, for some reason they always close before dark. Because I guess you can't work in the dark. People got to go home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck them, right? Because they can only yeah. worry. They only have so many mechanics. So mm. mechanics. Also, oil. Oil was it? No, not oil. Smog checks are super sketchy. Are you still dealing with that? No, I was. Oh, you okay. you came with me. Yeah. You you experienced how frustrating that was yeah. for me why is yeah. it frustrating because my car failed um well, when you have of, an older car it's annoying yeah it was like the catalytic converter was like not doing yeah, its you didn't job have an, you didn't have the right cadillac that's on not, that sounds like something out of star trek dude catalytic converter yeah, yeah. my warp drive wasn't <laughs> functioning correctly so my star I did, trek i did the star trek sign wrong and they yeah so me. that part was broken so i had to go all over and i ended up having to go back to la really? to have and the end? guy chop it off and oh put and on i remember one. that and then i had to go back again because he didn't do it right and like a heat shield was yeah because I remember it's that, really that was, sounding wasn't, that making the, wasn't that the one making the rattling noise? Yeah. When I was coming back here, it just started rattling and he had to weld it back on or whatever. Yeah, Nick pulled out his baby rattle. He's like, see, it sounds like that. That's really? when he was explaining it to the other guy. Ever <laughs> since we talked about the fucking post office and Animal Crossing, I just had the song stuck in my head. The brum, 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 brum. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where it's the mean lady in there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm so sad it's not coming for Switch yet. There's no word on it. Fucking talk about that well, dumb shit. Talk about Here's that. Pokemon E3. for the billionth you know time. You know why? Here's Smash Bros for the billionth time. You know why they're waiting? What? Switch to. <laughs> oh fuck off with that. Dude. <laughs> no, Nintendo always has a revamped version of whatever yeah. they have, so it's possible. It's not gonna be Switch to. I don't. But think seeing I'm how they called something the new 3DS. It doesn't. New it Switch. doesn't matter if it's coming on a new console. It's the still Switch coming back. to the Switch, so yeah, they can still give no. news for it. Yeah, Unless it's like. But I'm saying, what if they want to launch it with the they new one? They wouldn't do that. They're not. They're not that. No, but stupid. I'm saying, what yeah. if they want to launch the game with the new Switch? That's rendition? fine. They can still. They can still. But then that leaks the new Switchy. No, it doesn't. You just don't mention that it's coming for the new console. No, yeah. but they're talking gonna... about Nintendo here. They don't know how to do online. They don't know how to do anything. What, is any... what does online have to do with anything? That has nothing to do with what we're talking no, about. No. <laughs> they don't even know how to do online. How are they going to know how to market a game? So all they you... already market. They don't even fucking talk about the damn thing. <laughs> so are you going to be happy exactly. enough if they just give you a title card that says Animal Crossing and then everybody cheers and that's it? I will be happy if they give us a fucking date. That's all I'm asking for. So if they announced they were doing it but they didn't give you a date, would you still be mad? They have they they did that. They announced oh, they it, did, huh? and they've never talked about it Watch, since. This is my uh, this is my hot take. Oh, they already announced it. It's been it. like half a fucking year. They're gonna they show said shit. When they're they announced it, show Rossetti popping like out of a black screen and popping back in, and that's it. Did they if they popped out Rossetti and said November 12, twenty nineteen, and then pop back in? That's all anyone would fucking. But it's just need. like. <laughs> Literally any like any Animal Crossing fan wouldn't give a fuck about anything else. It's just as long as we know when it's actually coming yeah. out, that's all we need. I feel yeah. like but we've got when every Smash character is gonna come out. We gotta make sure we spend fucking the whole Nintendo well, I mean, Direct Smash on is that. Huge, so so is new, Animal Crossing. The new Smash Pokemon. Too, the new Pokemon female protagonist looks like a jelly. 
Does she? She does she look does. like jelly. She does look that. like jelly. She definitely does look like jelly. I feel yeah. like I feel like they'll have something with it for the next Nintendo Direct around the E3 time. Oh, it's gonna be a Pokemon Direct again. Yeah, probably. Honestly, Pokemon. So Pokemon makes some more money. <laughs> Poop and pee. <laughs> of course, they're gonna say that. Yeah. yeah. But now, Pokemon they've talked so money. much about Pokemon since Because it's their the biggest last... franchise, though. I know, Raymond, but this is also a big franchise. And they franchise. could spend fucking time talking about it. I, I don't know, dude. They they could literally spend... It's a 30-minute direct. If you spent 10 seconds of that direct, just Animal Crossing, date, that's it. They that do... would make everyone happy. They did have a lot of like weird indie games instead of their main Well, they're franchises. trying to hold out the Persona. We're the indie console, Persona? too. So. Wait, did you say Persona? Okay, Persona. Persona, he said it wrong. Persona. All I'm saying is that they should at least focus some allotment of time in the next direct, since they've had like four directs <laughs> since with nothing on. How it. sad are you gonna be if it's some random spin-off game? That's again? exactly what it's gonna be. <laughs> Animal Crossing first the person shooter. One, They're gonna string then along that board their game fucking audience the for so long. Oh no! What it's gonna be is you know the mini game where you shoot down the, the packages. <laughs> it's just gonna be that, but it's only motion controls. Gonna be, I have no idea what he's talking it's about. Gonna you know what the slingshot? You shoot it in the yeah. air and you shoot down a balloon and it drops a present. Well, they, they That's just going to be a mobile game. A, they already said yeah. it's for the Switch. Oh, they well, did. yeah, Never but mind. no, but it's it's going to be AR. Okay, well, at least no, they, they announced it's it. It's going to be AR. <laughs> it's a full release game. Okay. Full release I was about game. to say, just be happy they already got all of their gimmicky stuff out of the way with the board game one and the home designer. I thought the board game one looked cool. I thought home designer looked no, cool. No, the only too. problem was with it is you had to have all the cards to take advantage of Wait, what's home designer? It's like basically, it's like, instead of being the mayor like you are in New Leaf, you work for the Happy Home Academy, oh. and you just design villagers' homes. It's really cool. Isn't the Happy Home Academy kind of creepy for you guys? What? They're what? always very sketchy. Why? What? They're like, yeah, we, we come into your house at 6 oh. a.m. I don't know. I've don't always, worry about it. I always ignored the score because I was like, I want my house how I want it. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh, so I always ignored it. It's actually really high. Because I always did everything that about. involved, like, arcade machines that you could buy is always thrown in one room true uh, so that's all i did i mean you could make it look nice and like put them up yeah but even when i stuff. did though it's still lower you have to have matching furniture usually is no that how i don't have matching. Like you need that's to that's i got the higher what's scores. how do you get the, the silver award and mine's like yeah, i have like, no what matching do you do? furniture like i don't know what to do it's just the way you organize things like in the room because like when I used to play on GameCube, I just used to have everything against the wall and, like, nothing right, in yeah. the middle. But now I have, like, little pathways and stuff in the middle. And, like, I have a train set and then a couch leaning up against it. And then I have clothes lined up against, like, not on the wall, but, like, a few spaces in. So they're kind of like, like a line of clothes. And then in New Leaf, they said something about colors, too. Huh? Is there colors matter? Yeah, the guy was like, you should match your colors because my shit's uh, just all over the place. Yeah, probably. Uh, I don't worry about that. Yeah, There's a whole know. thing where it's I like, I just ignore if, you put, if you put a bunch of blue stuff on one wall, then you'll like have more. Um, probably that. That's like yeah. the one something thing like I never cared about. Yeah, that's way too much work. I'm just yeah. trying to. There's like, a lot of like, I don't know how the, no, they program that You know that what I stuff. missed in the first game? Mm. When they basically had emulators in their in the first game. Emulators? Yeah, and on the raffle day, you could buy, they would raffle like the Nintendo entertainment system and they'd have a certain game attached to it oh really so there's like excite bike do they have, like, you can just play it. they have stuff. like 26 oh, games cool. from the yeah. original so it's NES. basically like an emulator within animal crossing that's pretty cool yeah. yeah i used to just sit there and play like old donkey kong yep. for so fucking long <laughs> i remember that was all i had a room of just all of like all of them i could get mm -hmm. so every time there'd be a raffle i'd be like okay do you, you know what i'm doing also can you believe that they just they dropped their original kirby on the switch you, okay if you have nintendo online you can get the nes emulator yeah and they just dropped the original kirby without saying anything wait they have cool. an emulator yeah. now finally i mean they've had the nes emulator for a while hmm. and it's got a bunch of like it's got like zelda metroid um metroid uh i forgot I you have to buy them no huh. you wait then need, you just need the online subscription oh and that's, they not, give, like, that's you, five bucks though, a year isn't it, isn't it? yeah for yeah. me, it's like three oh, bucks because I split it. with eight people. <laughs> that's super worth it. Yeah, it's super worth it. Yeah. Um, And you got... Yeah, I just can't wait to play Animal Crossing on it. Yeah, for Who real. Who fucking knows when that'll happen? Ha ha ha. Five years. Don't it's say It's going to be 2020 like at the end of the lifespan. They're going to release Animal Crossing. Yeah, and then it's not going to fucking work on online. Animal Crossing for the 3DS. I just want to play... Be there. I just want to play <laughs> Animal Crossing with Jelly. But I can't because for whatever reason my router doesn't want to connect with my fucking internet. Wait, really? Or my DS. Yikes, buddy. Yeah, I don't know why. Buddy. It's like something in my router settings that just like doesn't like my DS for some reason. Mm. Wow. I don't know why. Actually, oh. no. That's weird because. No, no, never mind. What? 
I, your voice, your tone of voice was like, no, 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 no. Because it didn't work at the bye apartment. Bye. Oh, and I was bye. like, but it worked when I lived down the street. And I was like, well, that's weird because Does it was the same thing. Does have a weird thing then. where it's like a legacy device? What? There's a legacy and then there's the other one. There's two different kind of like internet. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. There's two different kinds of things. I doubt it is. So usually that's just a PC thing. I have but that possible that you only have I your don't. router open to a certain kind of connection. I don't know. The 3DS is really like backwards when it comes to networking. Well, it's so old. Yeah. It's like from 2011. Yeah, you can tell too. It's the 2DS XL. Oh, yeah. You have well, the I mean, 2DS XL. It's still the same hardware pretty much though. Yeah. So it's basically something from 2011. I much Wi-Fi, prefer the 2DS though. So. Oh god! Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, there's never. I never use a 3D. There's no point. The 3D sucks. Is like gross, dude. The only time I used it was when I got Pokemon X. It's interesting. I did like one battle in 3D and it was cool. Yeah. And I got over it. And then if you play Pokemon Sun and Moon, it just lags the fuck out of every battle Does it you really? play. Yeah, because uh. the double battles already lag because the it looks good, but mm. it's really pushing the system. Yeah. But if you put it into 3D, oh boy, you're in like 10 so frames like a second. It's like the hardware in that thing's already bad, so trying to push 3D on, it's like oof. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're uh, running out of time. Yeah, so uh, please, guys, please. Uh, go check out the game times that are out right now. Please. Super great please. series. Uh, Resident Evil Probably 2 best is ever. awesome. Uh, Castle Crashers is uh, pretty good as well. And we have some more series coming up in the future here. Be sure to go down in the bio, check out Jelly, our amazing artist. She's so fantastic. Uh, she posts art on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, also check out ours, and we have all of our personal ones down there as well. And then our music artist, his uh, Spotify is down there, so go check him out. He's yeah. a super cool guy. And, uh, you know, thank you guys so much for, for tuning in to the 20th episode of RV Podcast. RV Podcast. RV. So, uh, we'll, oh, uh, I was like, why did you say RV? <laughs> We're in an RV. It took me a while to realize. You got to get our branding that. correct, Travis. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for stopping is the by. G, is GP coming at you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, why is GP <laughs> signing out. <laughs> Later, Ooh, guys. Vibrated the whole RV. Ooh. Later. Bye. <laughs>